Hey, how's it going, Erica and Kimberly? Uh, my name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. We are a local online marketing agency here local to the Springs. We do SEO, website design, that kind of thing. Um, what I wanted to do is do this video analysis for you. Um, I understand you talked to Taylor over the phone and you said you may be interested about the uh, video analysis. And so uh, uh, what I want to do in this video analysis is basically go over exactly what I can see as a search marketer that, uh, that does this uh, day to day um, and, and kind of see what I can see in terms of what, where your SEO metrics are, um, what kind of keywords you potentially rank, uh, you're currently ranking for, what kind of keywords we need to potentially rank for, as well as how we're going to go about getting you ranked uh, front and center when people are typing these kinds of phrases into Google, um, which is what everyone's kind of using nowadays, their smartphones, uh, laptops, and tablets, and things like that to search up services in their, in their local area. All right. So without further ado, let me go ahead and just dive in. All right. So the first thing I did was I pulled up uh, your website here in a tool called AREFs. AREFs allow search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a site and kind of see where you're at right now. Uh, and some of the metrics behind some of the SEO things that's been done to the site. So what I can see is that there has been some SEO work done, especially uh, uh, just a month ago, there's been some uh, link activity. Right here, you see this referring domains. The reason uh, this is the first thing that I look at is because it has a huge integral part of determining why your website should rank higher than another website for the various keywords you want to rank for. The reason being is uh, a referring domain basically is any website out there um, on the internet that links back to your website by hyperlink. So uh, the reason why that's important is because that's how Google basically determines how trustworthy your website is and how authoritative your website is. And authority and trustworthiness basically has a huge impact on how highly you rank for the keywords you want to rank for, as well as how quickly you get there. And so what we need to do is we need to get a lot of websites to talk about your website because Google's website crawlers crawl through the hundreds of millions of websites and they look for these links that are linking back to uh, websites. And so anytime another website links back to your website, um, you get credit for that, uh, for the fact that they're linking back to your site. And so every, anytime a lot of these websites are talking about your website, it builds authority and trust because in Google's eyes, you're like, hey, uh, this website's talking about me, this website's talking about me. Of course, uh, if a lot of people are talking about me, it's probably trustworthy, it's, pro it's probably authoritative. And so um, that's what we need to do. We need to make sure that we continue to build the authority to your site so that you can start ranking uh, for all the various keywords and really get to the authoritative level where it's like, hey, boom, alpinelegalservices.org is front and center uh, uh, beyond any other competitor's website because they just have so much authority to the site. All right. Now, that's not everything that has to do with SEO, but it is a major part of it. And that's why I want to make sure that I address it right off the bat. And usually this right here can tell me whether there's been good SEO work done, whether there has been some SEO work done, or if there hasn't been any SEO work done at all. Because an SEO company, well, this is one of their first priorities, right? So um, that's what we need to do now. Since we're local to the Springs, we have uh, influence in this area, um, something that we've built over the years as uh, being in existence. And so we have connections and, and influences with like bloggers and uh, newspapers and uh, PR firms and directories and things like that that are local to the Springs that really help Google understand that you're a local uh, service uh, helping a local location and it really gives you a lot of credit for that kind of thing. So when people are typing in like uh, criminal uh, defense uh, attorney Colorado Springs, um, you get a lot of credit for those kinds of phrases, everything that have to do with Colorado Springs. All right. Now I am going to hop over to your site in a sec, but before and really dive in, but before I do that, I just want to see what services you do. So domestic violence, elder law, family law, housing, legal education, and, and, and budsman. Ombudsman. I'm not sure what that is. But family law, elder law, and so you have that kind of stuff. Okay. So um, what I want to do next, actually, is actually hop over to the uh, organic keywords tab. This organic keywords tab basically allows me to see what kind of keywords you currently rank for as well as uh, with some of those metrics behind those keywords. So what I can see right off the bat is Alpine Legal Services, you are on the number second spot. Um, this is good because you are at the top of the page, but we need to claim the number one spot because um, Alpine, actually, you know what, Alpine, might you might have the first spot because this is actually an inner page. But uh, we need to make sure that you're on the number one spot. So you can check that when you're at home um, and Alpine Legal Services because that is your brand name. You don't want to... Uh, you don't want them to accidentally click on another person's website and then think that it's your website and then only realize five to ten minutes after they've been on the site that it's the wrong website and they're just like frustrating everything else, right? Legal Aid Colorado. 
that's a very interesting keyword that you're currently ranking pretty decently at 24th, which is means at the middle of the third page. Um, so it looks like you're based. Yeah, yeah, you are definitely based out of Glenwood. So Glenwood and Aspen. And so what we need to do is um, instead of Colorado Springs, um, we need to rank for everything that has to do with Glenwood and Aspen keywords. And there's still people that search that kind of thing. And um, the good news is actually you have a lot less competition in those areas um, because they don't have as many SEO companies out there ranked for this kind of stuff. And so um, it means that it's going to take us less time for us to get you to where you need to be at, where you're front and center. And uh, you're starting getting a lot more business to your site and a lot of people inquiring from landing on your site. All right. So in order for us to get you to like be found, do you see how like you're being found for like Legal Aid, College Springs, Pilkin County Courthouse, College Springs Legal Services? So these aren't necessarily the keywords that we want to go after. The kind of keywords that we really want to go after is like Glenwood Springs um, Elder Lawyer or uh, family, law family Lawyer Glenwood Springs, Family Lawyer Aspen, you know, um, Domestic Violence Attorney Glenwood Springs, Domestic Violence Attorney Aspen, and the variations of that kind of thing. But you can see how you're not being found for that kind of keyword. And that comes up to us making sure that we optimize your actual site and actually have it so that Google understands exactly what the website is about, as well as what each individual page um, keywords that we're trying to rank for those individual pages. All right. And so um, finally, um, what I want to do is actually just hop over to your physical site and kind of do some analysis on that. Um, here's the bottom line. This day and age, especially in the legal services, um, a website this 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 isn't enough, unfortunately, to really uh, build up the authority in terms of where you need to be at and where you where people are going to really start inquiring from from the site. Um, it's just a little bit outdated, and there's just not it's it's just not very fleshed out. All right, so um, compared to your competitors, we need to make sure that your website is just as nice, if not better, than your competitors. And if we're not there. Um, a lot of chances are when people visit this site, they're probably not going to pull the trigger because um, fundamentally, um, when when someone visits your office, right, you make sure that it's clean, right? You make sure that it's not unkempt, uh, unkept. You you make sure that it has a professional uh, uh, image. You make sure that people that are answering the phone are courteous and all that stuff, right? So you have a certain brand and you have a certain image of that. Now. This is the same kind of thing that people think about when they actually land on a website. If the website's not fleshed out, if it, not everything's in, in order, everything's in place, that kind of reflects on your brand. And it might sound a little bit harsh, but at the end of the day, um, before nowadays, before people even visit your office, the first thing they probably do because of user behavior is they actually visit your website online and, and, and check it out. And so if that's, not, if that's not in place, if the things don't add up, on, and their subconscious mind where like you have good reviews, you have uh, a, a decent website, you have good information, you have an image of yourself. And uh, if that stuff doesn't add up, chances are people aren't going to actually inquire about your uh, practice and move forward with you and, and set up a consultation um, unless that's there. So um, that's what I highly recommend. We do website design, so I very recommend that we do that even before we do SEO. Really build it up from the foundation up really revamp your business and then really take this to the next level and make 2018 your year, all right? We still have plenty of time uh, in 2018. We still have half the year uh, to get this done, but um, we need to make sure that we have everything in place because even if we do SEO, um, at the end of the day, it's not just about doing SEO and bringing you traffic. Um, we understand as marketers that we need to bring you more business. Otherwise, there's no point in paying us your marketing dollars. And so... Uh, in order for everything to ha be in place, in order for us to actually be able to convert the people that visit your website into inquiries and, and contacting you and scheduling a consultation and then moving forward with the legal uh, case, uh, we need to make sure everything's in place before we do that. The foundation's there, that everything adds up and everything, all the checklists are, are checked off. And so, um, yeah, I'll wrap it up here. I hope at the very least you got some insight out of this. Uh, very serious about our work, very uh, confident in what we can do for you. Um, it's just kind of get a matter of getting the ball, a bull ro rolling, and um, bull ball rolling, and um, and just kind of going from there. All right. 
So appreciate it and would love to talk to you further about this. Okay. Thank you.